Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on Tuesday, 4th of December. Yield curve inverted yesterday. Threes and fives went negative. This uh, was a stunning uh, departure from what we thought was going to happen. Bonds are just through the roof. Thought inflation, the idea of inflation was going to catch on and rates would go higher, but no. I mean, have a look at this uh, this move in the 30s in the long bond up to 141.17 now. Boons also higher. Uh, BTPs higher. This we don't understand, uh, so we're square. And we're just going to have to move on. Don't really understand what's going on bond, so we're going to stay away from them. Inverted yield curve, not very good for equities historically. So the knee jerk here is going to be equities lower. This is not great news for equities. Uh, we got basically a doji after Trump. And now we have a lower daily low. This doesn't look good. What does this mean for currencies? Well, first and foremost, uh, dollar yen got slammed as rates went lower. So, this looks like it. there was acceleration below 40 here, yeah, below 37. And the dollar in general is just a little bit offered here. Euro dollar looks like it's going to attack this 114.01 level. Uh, there will be some risk, some stops above there. And with yields where they are, 10 years, 294.8, can't really give you any good reasons to buy dollars. So today it looks like we're going to be trying to buy some euros, which seems a little bit illogical considering what's going on politically in Europe. Um, but position wise, the market is short euros, this is good. Uh, you just want to keep a close eye on Deutsche Bank because uh, this is obviously massively euro negative if this thing or should I say when this thing blows up so keep an eye on Deutsche it's probably trading around eight and a quarter right now uh, I'm gonna open around eight and a quarter use that as a little bit of a canary in the coal mine in case uh, risk turns in, uh, in Europe but going into year end, the market is short euros. U.S. rates are lower, so this could easily squeeze higher, this uh, euro dollar. There will be stops above 114.01. On the flip side, uh, Cable printed the figure yesterday, and this is just a pretty obvious break trade now. Uh, I don't pretend to understand what's happening in Brexit. It makes absolutely no sense to me, but you can just slam Cable through the figure and see what happens. Keep a very tight stop. Um, old fashioned momentum trade. Looks like a pretty good setup. You could easily have some idiotic headline. You know, your risk here is slippage. Uh, but we got pretty good liquidity here, so we're not as worried about that. But those of you who trade on the retail platforms, uh, just be vigilant about your fill. And if you have a shitty fill, you know, just tighten up your risk. You're not marrying this. You can never marry anything sterling. Um, no offense to uh, the population over there. It's just their currency is insane. And see what happens. So, I mean, we kind of have two sides of the coin today. If you like the weaker dollar, euro is your, uh, is your horse or dollar yen you can sell on rallies you don't want to sell low ones in dollar yen now you want to be selling high ones and S&P's and risk I mean we're 2770 so we're not risk off by any means we want to see if we can fill this gap in which is 64 see what happens at 64 we're already down uh, three quarters of a percent or two thirds of a percent so we're not going to chase this on the downside for now. 
what else? I did want to mention this uh, Euro Sterling chart. This will coincide with uh, 127 the figure, but 89.40 uh, is a really, really big uh, point as far as we've had these 32, 33, 35 lows. We're at 33 right now. Euro Sterling does look set for a northern journey. I'm not super inspired this morning, uh, so I'll just leave it at that. We'll be watching this uh, 114.01 level in Euro Dollar, and we will be watching 127 to figure in cable. Obviously, if they're both done, which would be uh, kind of insane, Euro Sterling is going to trade 90. I'll catch you guys later. Ciao.